there are lots of kidney related problems of late very young people are on dialysis virtually every week like lots of kidney related issues young individuals are dying from kidney related diseases going for kidney transplant or needing to go for kidney transplant and the likes have you wondered why our parents of old are living longer than we that seem to be more enlightened like we feel that this era is more enlightened than the that of our parents but they live longer than we in this generation where we feel we know better so have you really wondered why okay what about people just slumping and dying in their sleep what about people just walking or probably people who are seemingly healthy they will just collapse and then they just die just like that like sudden death so rampant now people just fall into seizure fall into coma just like that a lot of these cases are attributed to village people <laughs> or witchcraft but sometimes these village people or witchcraft that we attribute these things to are just mere speculations and most of all than not they are even innocent and it might just be sheer ignorance that is causing all of this well in today's video we will be talking about how water can kill yes excess intake of water how it can kill i know we all are aware that drinking water is crucial to staying healthy but i bet not many of us are aware that excess intake of water can actually lead to death yes as literal as it sounds it can kill so we will be addressing how water excess intake of water can kill or problems it can cause in the body that can eventually lead to death in my last video I talked about how you can manipulate your hair even without moisture I wear type 4 C hair you know how it is you know how it is that the, the uh, kind of air uh, water loving so I'm telling you that I actually kept my hair for four days without moisture with just three teeth and my hair did it break it didn't shed it didn't pull so the, I, I dropped the tips in the video and the link is in the description box if you miss it you can check it out when you take in excess water too much water than your body needs per day or per hour it causes a condition known as water poisoning or hyperhydration or water toxicity or water intoxication all of these mean the same thing by the way it's your girl anita and my channel name anita daniel 50 if you are a first time visitor do well to subscribe I promise we'll have a beautiful ride on this channel if you are a returning viewer I appreciate thank you for sticking around water poisoning is a situation a condition whereby you are experiencing electrolyte imbalance in the body electrolytes are minerals in the body that carry out specific of course important functions one of such electrolytes is sodium so when you take in excess water it actually affects the sodium level in the body so that is to say that the excess water you take would dilute the sodium level in the body thereby causing sodium imbalance i call it electrolyte because in the body they are minerals and they are referred to electrolyte because they contain positive or negative charge they are found in body fluids and they carry out vital functions in the body if you having this lightheadedness headache or all you're vomiting the three symptoms might not happen at at the same time it could be one you experience or it could be two or it could be the, the three so if you are experiencing these symptoms 
as initial initial first symptom and nothing is done probably because you didn't go for any specific diagnosis and as well as such you are not aware that the reason for the headache is because of sodium imbalance and as such you didn't take any um any sodium to replace the lost mineral then it can eventually lead to coma seizure and even death as so as a sports person if you're losing body fluid in form of sweat you should replace the lost um sodium minerals as well as water not just water so you should take um spot hydration tablets such as ors that really works to replenish the lost salt and mineral as well as water in the body it's not only for sports persons even if you're sick you cannot eat but you're vomiting you have, you are you're having diarrhea you shouldn't just take ordinary water because that for me that area you're losing electrolytes as well so you are expected to as well take ors which will help to replace the lost sodium as well as minerals or water in the body so earlier at the beginning of this video i talked about kidney related disease yeah that's because our kidney carry out a lot of vital functions in the body like they are working non-stop as long as we live so overworking them beyond their capacity can lead to kidney failure kidney disease or what have you so our health professionals advise that we take not more than one liter of water per hour this is because our kidney can only remove at most one liter of water every hour from our body so imagine a situation whereby you're taking more than one liter of water per hour the kidney is going to get overworked you are stretching it beyond its capacity and doing this over and again would definitely affect the health of the kidneys that is when you start to hear kidney disease kidney failure and then you'll be needing kidney transplant and all that so please and please and please do not overwork your kidney do, you, do not stretch your kidney beyond its capacity thank you very much for staying through to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have learned from this video and i hope that you have been aspiring to the fact that Drinking too much water is actually not safe for your health. Please click the subscribe button, click the like, the share button, and drop a comment. Thank you very much, and bye till my next video.